Okay, question two. A triangle has vertices A113, B59-5, and C654. P is the point in AB such that AP, the ratio of AP to PB is 3 to 1. That's a slightly, well, I don't know, we're maybe not used to reading that quite so much. Are we? Think about what that means. If the ratio, if, if here's the line, oh, that's not the line. If here's the line A, B, P is on there in such a way that the ratio of A to P is three times the, the length of P to B. So that looks like that must be P, doesn't it? If that's three times the length, and that's one, that means if we measure the whole length, that's three quarters of the length, and that distance is one quarter. Does that make sense? So this isn't necessarily three units, it's three, you know, three times some constant, and that's one times the constant. And that's, that's how we need to think about how we're working out this now. So, show that CP is perpendicular to AB. So if we, if we think about what we're doing, in order to do that, we need to find these vectors, don't we? That's the essential bit. We have to know what the vector AB is and what the vector CP is. So let's start with the vector AB, because that's going to help us find P as well. The vector AB, remember, is minus OA plus OB. Because AB is all about getting from A to B, so you go backwards to the origin and forwards to B. So that is the minus of 113 plus 59 minus 5. And so the first mark actually here, I think, was for getting 4, what would that be, 8 minus 8 as the vector A, B. So that's a good start. Now, if we're thinking how this all works, let's, let's pretend there's the origin there. Um, Oh, and, and here's the point C. I'm just making stuff up about where these points are, but the, you know the idea of this. So we know this vector, don't we? We know OC. That's what that represents. So the vector 6, 5, minus 4 is OC. We ought to get from C to P. This is the vector that we're after. Okay, that's the vector we're looking for. So think about how we can get from the vector C to the vector P. And, and we're going to do it in a, in a few stages, aren't we? We're going to, we're going to think about that as being, um, well, how could we do this? We could say it's minus OC plus OA plus three quarters of AB. That would be one way of doing it. That's a quite sensible idea. Um, I, I worked at OP first and then did C to P. So that's another way that we can think about it. But that's always about how we kind of have to construct that. It takes a bit of care to work our way through that. So we need to find the vector CP. Um, I, I'm going to change what I did when I did that thing. Um, Do you want me to turn it down? Yeah. And Hayley's texting the, the youths who have gathered outside to play music. Maybe we should send Hayley out to tell them off. Um, right, C to P is minus OC. <laughs> minus OC, that takes it to the origin. Then O to A, that takes it to A. Then three quarters of the way from A to B. Okay, does that make sense? That's what we're going to do. And these are all quite easy things to work out. So minus OC, that's minus 6, 5, minus 4, plus OA, which is 113, plus 3 quarters of AB, which is 4, 8, minus 8. Gives us, can we do this all in one go? That gives us minus 6, plus 1 is minus 5, plus another 3 would be minus 2. This is minus 5, plus 1 is minus 4, plus another 6 is 2. And here we've got minus, minus 4 is plus 4, plus another 3 is 7, minus 6 is minus 1. 7 take away 6 is only plus 1, isn't it? That's plus 1. So that's, uh, that's our vector CP. The question said, show that AB and CP are perpendicular. We do that by doing 
AB dotted with CP. So that is 4, 8, minus 8, dotted with minus 2, 2, 1. And of course, I think we can already see that that's going to work itself out. That is minus 8 plus 16 minus 8, which is 0, therefore perpendicular. Because we've got, we're going to work out both A, B, and C, P. I think we've got quite a lot of work there, haven't we, to get those marks. They, I think they are not <coughs> four marks, considering this is the second question in the paper. I think we genuinely have to work for that a bit. Uh, find the area of the triangle A, B, C. Most of you had the method right for this, but then threw in a few arithmetical errors as you were doing it. You know, things multiplied wrong. Uh, so, the triangle ABC, they found it helpful to have a little diagram. The triangle ABC, um, and the, the line AB, of course, has the point P on it. I'm not drawing my triangle very well, but the point P, which is three quarters of the way from A to B, does go with it, we know is perpendicular to the line CP. We know that that is a right angle. So when it comes to working out the area of our triangle, then the area of the triangle is a half times the base times the height. We've got a perpendicular distance within this. So the area is a half the length of AB times the length of CP. And these are things that we've already worked out in the previous question. So that's half times the square root of 4 squared plus 8 squared plus minus 8 squared times the square root of minus 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared. That should have been a plus in there. For it does really Oh, what we do? What's that supposed to be? Look, there it is. There we are. So that's plus. And so we get a half times, um, well these, these are lovely numbers, that it makes you feel that you must be doing something right if it works out like this. So we've got 64 plus 64 plus 16, which is root 144. And this is uh, 4 plus 4 plus 1 is 9, so that's root 9. So we're doing a half times 12 times 3, which gives us 6 times 3 is 18. Um, you could have worked out one of the angles in your triangle and used half a b sine c. It would be a lot more work than that, but it, it, that would get you the mark just as much. Great, and that's that.